Hi, I'm Amsika, your number one castle ambassador, currently studying in Longview, Texas. I asked you guys for your opinion because, you know, I create content for you and I wanted to know your feedback. I asked you people whether you wanted a video of my life as an aeronautical engineering student or a series as my life as an in as an aeronautical engineering student most of you said you wanted a series and so that's what i'm going to be doing today and this is episode one of my life as an aeronautical engineering student There are a lot of people in Ghana that would like to become aeronautical engineers, but they end up changing their minds when they get to the tertiary level because there's not much you can do as an aeronautical engineer in Ghana. And it's even very difficult to like study to become an aeronautical engineer in Ghana. I mean, you could go to KNUST, but you're just going to learn about the theory aspect of aeronautical engineering and what is an engineer who cannot practice on the field right you, know, you can't even call yourself an engineer you just have the engineering degree I wanted to follow my dream of becoming an aeronautical engineer and i wasn't ready to give that up and i had to make some sacrifices for that i had to leave home just to you know follow my dream and make a difference, hopefully, in my family, in my society, and in my country, even in my continent. That is what, what I'm doing. That is why I am so driven about what I do and so passionate about being an aeronautical engineer. Just as much as I am passionate about Kasua. And I must say, I enjoy doing whatever I do. Now what I'm doing is I'm painting this thing. This is the first coat. I'm going to be doing two coats. So after doing the first coat, which I am done with, I'm going to study a bit to leave this to dry, then come back and do my second coat. So I'll just set this right here till it dries up. Hello everyone, my name is Stella, I'm Susana's friend and I'm from Rwanda, Kigali and I'm also an, uh, an aeronautical mechanical engineering major so I want to be in the maintenance department when I finish uh, grad school so yeah and women in aviation are you sure? <laughs> a lot of you may be wondering why I chose aeronautical engineering and like how I even got into this whole aeronautical engineering thing. Well, first of all, there are not a lot of women in my field, and there are not uh, there are not a lot of Africans in my field, and that's like one major reason why I am doing this. You know, to add some spice to the aviation and engineering sector. But also another reason why I chose aeronautical engineer was because I've always been interested in planes since I was four. I was like. I always used to tell my family that I was going to become a pilot but as I grew up I drifted away from being a pilot to being more of an engineer because I don't really want to fly hours and hours like every time I just want to you know create stuff do new stuff you know and that's why I chose aeronautical engineering and so I'm literally living my dream right now and I'm loving it so far I am currently a junior at college which means i'm in my third year of university and so a major reason why i'm actually doing this whole series is to show people in ghana that it's actually possible to become an aeronautical engineer i know a lot of people a lot of friends of mine who wanted to become aeronautical engineers in ghana but really couldn't because in ghana we don't really have the facilities to become an aeronautical engineer you can learn like the theoretical stuff but you can't really do like the hands-on practice and that's literally why I'm in the US to study for this yeah there are a lot of people that wanted to do it but we really didn't know how so they shifted to some other majors and stuff and this series is going to like show you people that like, there's actually a way to become an aeronautical engineer maybe may not be the traditional way maybe you may not be able to stay in Ghana but like if we make the sacrifice to come here and to study 
we can go back home and establish schools and teach people hands-on aeronautical engineering any other kind of engineering don't you think so and then we're going to like make the generations that come after us we're going to make their lives much easier gary plantain chips and granites oh dano milk <laughs> very important for my gary so keen Let me tell you on my attitude. Certain things me I no go do. Not because of money I go switch on the fence. So my brother no go use to do. And I've been thinking for the multitude. I make you look complete. Yeah, yeah. I make you look easy. I make it like what I said. We need to complain. Body dipping, but I maintain. I de maintain. I de maintain. Oh.